Hello. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to uh, create a button that f- uh, follow the cursor like this. Uh, by uh, copying the code from a code pen uh, from the Matthew Dix here it's a simple a couple of uh, javascript code line and uh, let's get started uh, first um, let's copy all the code here and uh, pass in your uh, footer script uh, setting okay here and uh, we need to add uh, after that we need to add uh, element with a class name a cursor uh, to do this I'm gonna edit some uh, file in a uh, temp child I'm gonna add uh, this code uh, this element in my in after my footer uh, element so uh, this is the code that I use it will add uh, an element with a cursor class name before uh, this function uh, so the result will be like this uh, let's open the console okay here you can see I have uh, element uh, with a class name cursor to create a uh, element that will follow uh, the cursor and has a circle uh, background like th- like this then the next step is uh, to copy all the CSS not all but uh, just copy from a uh, this CSS with a class name cursor cursor just like this and copy to <coughs> this uh, custom CSS setting this and let's save and see the result Okay, here we have another nice uh, circle background cursor that follow the cursor anywhere okay, like this but uh, I'm gonna change the cursor so it will uh, scale up uh, when it hover uh, element uh, in uh, which uh, I will uh, uh, apply it to the every uh, link or ep- every element that has a link uh, something like this menu on this button here so I'm gonna add some uh, custom uh, jQuery here let's copy here I will add before the uh, script uh, which uh, I created uh, before like this uh, this is the jQuery script code so uh, I have uh, include the file the jQuery file on my brick temps child folder as you can see in here I have these files the latest jQuery and uh, this script will uh, add a class name a cursor big to the element which has name a cursor so it will be like this 
when I hover uh, element with a link which has uh, a a tag uh, like this menu or this button it will add a class name uh, uh, a cursor big to this element so uh, it will have another class with a cursor big name <coughs> let's uh, and when it doesn't hover it will remove the class a cursor big then we can uh, add a, a cursor big uh, class name to the CSS and we're gonna style it later and we're, I'm gonna save it like this then uh, let's refresh see there is a, a chain but it's it's really fast enough I think that I, th I have missing something uh, let's uh, modify the style that we copied from uh, this code pen let's add a pointer if even like this set to none Then we have a nice uh, JavaScript that add a cursor B class name to our cursor uh, element. But uh, I need to make a circle bigger when it hover link. So let's add some uh, CSS. And this is the default the circle width and height. It's a thir 32 pixel, and when it hover, it will change to a 60 pixel. And we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I add transition 1.0 second, so it will have a nice uh, transition effect. Okay, let's save. and let's refresh okay see this is this uh, i think this is done but there is some problem here we have a uh, uh, horizontal uh, scroll bar on the browser here and we're gonna fix it with uh, using uh, overflow x hidden see so we're gonna add class to body and just like this mm, let's okay this that's it uh, this is a very fast way fastest way and a simple way to uh, to achieve uh, the circle button that follow the cursor uh, effect you can uh, style it anywhere and any whatever you want and uh, just to create or modify the CSS st uh, CSS on the uh, brick setting and uh, thank you for watching and happy coding <laughs>